Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. On the evening of the 3rd of March 2021, 33-year-old marketing executive Sarah Everard disappeared in South London. Living at the time in London's Brixton Hill area, she went missing after leaving a friend's house near Clapham Common to steer home. On the 9th of March, Wayne Cousins, a Metropolitan Policeman with the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Unit, was arrested in Deal, Kent, firstly on suspicion of Everard's kidnapping and afterward suspicion of her murder. On the 10th of March, her remains were discovered in Woodland near Ashford in Kent. Cousins was charged with kidnapping and murder two days later. A vigil was held for Everard in London on the 13th of March, resulting in a controversial police response and four arrests for breaches of COVID-19 regulations. Background? Sarah Everard was born in Surrey in 1987. She was raised in York, where she attended Fulford School. She studied Human Geography at St Cuthbert's Society, Durham University, from 2005 to 2008. She last lived with the Brixton Hill area and was a marketing executive for a digital media agency. At around 2100 GMT on 3rd of March 2021, Everard left the house of a lover near Clapham Junction to the west of Clapham Common. She walked across the common along the A205 South Circular Road on the way to her home. She spoke to her boyfriend on a mobile for about 15 minutes and agreed to satisfy him on the subsequent day. At 21.28, she was seen on doorbell camera footage on Ponders Road and four minutes afterward, the dash cam of a passing cruiser. CCTV footage from a bus passing her route at 21.35 also assisted the investigation. Everard's boyfriend contacted the police on the 4th of March after she didn't meet him. On the 10th of March, police searching Woodland near a former leisure centre in Great Chart, two miles or 3.2 kilometres from Ashford in Kent, found human remains inside a large bag. They also searched a garage linked to a suspect at the high of the White Cliffs next to St Martin's Battery, overlooking Dover Harbour. On the 12th of March, Everard's body was identified through dental records. On the 14th of March, police cordoned off a neighbourhood of the Rope and Sandwich, Kent in reference to the investigation. The mayor of Sandwich, Jeff Franklin, estimated that one area unit, 2.6 kilometres squared of the town, was restricted by the cordon. On 9th of March, Kent Police arrested Wayne Cousins, a 48-year-old Metropolitan Constable and Firearms Officer at his range in Deal, on suspicion of kidnapping. On the 10th of March, the day Everard's remains were discovered, he was re-arrested on suspicion of murder. Cousins joined the Metropolitan Police in September 2018 and have been assigned to the Parliamentary and Diplomatic Protection Branch, which is liable for uniform protection of diplomatic premises. A lady was arrested at his address on suspicion of assisting an offender, then released for free of charge. On the 11th of March, Cousins was briefly hospitalised for a head injury sustained in custody before returning to a police headquarters. Police say the injury was sustained while he was alone in his cell. His head was injured against subsequent day. Cousins was charged with Everard's kidnapping and murder on the 12th of March, following authorisation from the Crown Prosecution Service. He appeared at Westminster Magistrates Court on the 13th of March and was remanded in custody before appearing at the Old Bailey via video link from Belmarsh Prison on the 16th of March. The plea hearing and a provisional trial are set for July and October 2021, respectively. A silent vigil was held outside the Metropolitan Police's New Scotland Yard headquarters on the 10th of March. A Reclaim the Straits vigil planned for the 13th advanced Clapham Colman was cancelled after talks with police broke down. The police had advised the organisers that it might be considered an illegal gathering under COVID-19 pandemic restrictions and therefore the court refused an invitation to intervene with the police decision. Similar events planned for Edinburgh and Cardiff were officially cancelled in favour of online events. However, vigils still happened in several British cities, including Birmingham, Bristol, Cardiff, Edinburgh, Leeds, Nottingham and Sheffield. In the wake of the disappearance and death of Everard, Home Secretary Priti Patel released a press release saying that every woman should feel safe to steer on our streets without worrying of harassment or violence, while London Mayor Sadiq Khan stated that London streets aren't safe for ladies or girls. Patel announced that new laws are being considered to guard women against harassment publicly, including the potential of creating public harassment, a specifically defined crime. The Metro Metropolitan Police asked the Independent Office for the Police Conduct to conduct an investigation of whether two officers had responded appropriately to a report from the 28th of February that Cousins had indecently exposed himself in South London. He was being persisted suspicion of that crime when he was accused of murder. Thanks for listening. Please like, comment and subscribe.